say, the time will come, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I want it now. Yeah. Well, how do I recognize I have it now? No. <laughs> well, let's just look for a minute. When we say, I want it now, and if we, if giving and receiving are the same, if everything is one mind, and if prayers are always answered, then, and everything that I ask for, I receive as I have asked, you know, you've heard all, said in a hundred different, as you sow, so shall you reap, all the on and on. If I say I want it now, and my experience is that I'm not experiencing it now, then one of the two has to be amiss. So, if I'm not experiencing it now, and I say the words, I want it now. I think Jesus has a workbook lesson where he says, to say the words, I want the peace of God, is <laughs> meaningless, but to, but to truly mean, I want the peace of God, is everything. So, that's where the end of compromise comes in. I can say, I want God, I want peace, I want happiness, I want bliss, I want joy. I can say the words, I can even do a mantra. Imagine doing that like 500 times a day. I want joy, I want joy, I want joy. Wait, honey, can you bring up some milk? Can you get some milk? It's I want joy. I want joy, I want joy. You know, we've tried, we've tried the affirmation route, you know, we've, we, what's my mantra? Okay, I've got my mantra now. It, it, it just, it's got to be beyond repetition of mantras, you know, because some of us, have, we've really tried that a lot, you know, we even use the course to turn it into a big mantra, you know. But in the end, we have to start to realize that if I say, I want the peace of God or I want enlightenment now, it's really more, is there a compromise somewhere in my consciousness, somewhere in my mind, is there an alternative force in there? Albeit an illusion, but if, if I believe it, mm -hmm. Jesus says, what you believe you make true for you. Mm -hmm. Meaning you make true in your awareness. That's a powerful mind. If I want to believe that God's a pink pyramid, then in my mind, God is a pink pyramid. Because my mind is that powerful. Whatever I lend my belief to, I make true in awareness. If I want to believe this world's real, it will seem very real in awareness. Not in reality, but in awareness. So, it's starting to undo this idea of compromise, and we do it moment by moment. We use our relationships, we use our food preferences, we use all of what seems to be our, our ego misperceptions, and we continually give it over and say, help me, show me this differently. And through that practice, we actually do come into finally an experience where I want the peace of God, and God goes, I was waiting for that. <laughs> I wish you. I was waiting for that sincere prayer of the heart, you know, because it's it's given to us immediately as soon as we truly, truly want it.